Hi guys, so after having that meal, I slept. One thing about me, I will sleep. I will sleep. <sighs> I'm sitting outside and the lighting is just bomb. Honestly, I think I'm gonna start picking up my hmm? Say hi. So I'm just sitting outside getting some fresh air. I am exhausted. Nothing is cute no more. Nothing is cute no more. I'm just gonna sit here and relax. Um What's the legal masses? Tomorrow I am going to um my last, last doctor's appointment, my last, last check before I go in for surgery and also have the COVID test. Let me show you my feet, guys. Does know the wall is dirty? Look at my elephant feet. I think it's because of the heat. They were not like this the entire pregnancy and the one like the last week of everything then this happened um it's the next day it's a uh, thursday and the time is somewhere around 5 a.m clifford just left for the gym and i'm being a pro 31 woman and being up early so i'm going to just quickly clean up our home and prepare the daughter for school and then I'm gonna have breakfast and then get ready for our OPG why ends appointment I don't know why I don't just say kindly I'm gonna get ready for my kindness appointment so I'm just gonna quickly um, tidy up the house like I said I'm gonna start with the living area it's not dirty dirty it's just that it's when the house is lived in there are crumbs here and there there's dust here and there so i'm just gonna quickly tidy up the house i will i always finish up with the bedrooms i always do the bedrooms um when this little is already out of bed so i can also do her room and my room so i just thought let me come here and open today um on the vlog and yeah uh Um, I bought this um, room spray from Crazy Dolls Mini Rocks ago, so I'm gonna try it out today. It's lavender flavored, but I really don't like how it smells. I think I prefer the vanilla one from um, Shit Street, but then I bought this, so I need to use it. So this is what I use. I usually just use like a, the vanilla room spray. Just to give the house a nice fresh scent so now i am done with the maintenance cleaning i am going to quickly prepare something for little girl's lunch at crutch and then wait for her to wake up at around half past six or quarter to seven depending on how she feels that i think she might slip in because it rained last night um but also just want to say let me just lean in, lean in a bit so um little girl is three years old um we started sleep training her last year when we moved in here which is in august um simply because she's old and she has her own room um, i didn't want to co-sleep with her so sleep training her took us maybe a month or less She's quite, she's quite a fast learner, so she sleeps alone in her room and she sleeps very well. She sleeps around half past seven, eight o'clock, depending on 
how tired she is and if I'm keeping to the, to the time. Sometimes the time overlaps, but she gets restless and she just be like, I want to go to sleep. It's time to sleep. And last night it was raining. It was that there was there was thunder and lightning. It was so cool. It was thunder and lightning, and I thought she wouldn't sleep well, but she slept through the night and. I really like how sleep training gives both me and her good sleep and we're able to wake up in the morning and be very productive and it just I feel like it overall contributes to her being independent and I really love that and I can't wait to see how that's gonna work out when um this when this little one gets here because she's probably gonna be waking up and crying and you know, doing what babies do. So I'm not sure if that's going to disturb the photo's sleep routine, but I hope not. And I hope that baby is going to fit into the sleep routine. Definitely going to sleep change this one as well. She has her own cot, as you guys know. She'll be sleeping in our room because we don't have any other rooms. It's just two bedrooms, which is fine. Hopefully, by the time she's with those age, we'll be living in a different place, you know, manifesting a house. So, yeah, manifesting a house of our own. So hopefully she'll be living, we'll be living in our own house and she'll have her own room where we should have moved photo and be fully potty, uh, sorry, not potty trained, sleep trained. So yeah, I know Clifford is going to be mad when he gets home and he finds me awake and the house so clean because he says I don't rest enough, but I feel like I'm always resting. Sometimes I just need to get up and do like I get paints here and there. I just can't help it. So I know he's gonna be like, why are you, why is the house clean? Why are you up? But this is what he chose. Yeah, let me prepare the photos. Um, three o'clock, not even four o'clock, one o'clock or two o'clock. I don't know what time they have their second snack at school. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna give her, but I think fruit will do today because yesterday I gave her uh, dism. So today I think I'll give her some fruit and I'll put
Okay, let's do this outfit of the day because it's a little chilly. Look who's awake. Say hi. Hey. How are you? Okay. I'm fine. He's a teddy bear. Mm. Teddy bear. Teddy bear. Are you going to He's looking nice. The hair. Oh, nice hair, Titi Bay. Reporting live from Naperville. Um, so I am back from my kindness appointment. Everything looks good. We took the COVID test, like you guys saw. That taste hurts like a bitch. Um, we are back home. So I came back home, had some McDonald's, and then took a nap. I just woke up now and you guys there's literally three days left before my c-section surgery <laughs> i am excited and a little anxious my mom is super super excited she cannot wait to meet her grandchild because i'm not gonna go home so my parents are only gonna meet the baby god december when i go home and the baby will be a few months old by then but she can't wait just for that call to say I've delivered, you know, we're both healthy and happy. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to close the vlog here because the other three days, I don't know what I'm going to be up to. Um, but then again, I might keep vlogging because there are a couple of things that I need my sister to buy for me and maybe I might film those. So... We'll see how it goes, but let me just do this outro in case I don't vlog the other days because I do a lot of sleeping lately, which is good because my body is getting the rest that it needs. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, guys. The channel is growing, and I'm so excited that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out here. And do let me know if you guys want to see specific. Um content on here i know that you guys really enjoy vlogs but i also want to do sit downs because some people do want sit downs and i want to cater for everyone as much as i can and i know that some people on my instagram have requested that i do a birth vlog honestly speaking i am not sure if i want to share parts of my life where i'm very vulnerable and all that but i think i am just gonna take footage just in case i want to share but I'm not promising. I will definitely do a labor and delivery story. Uh, but then as far as doing the actual vlog, I'm not sure. And also, I'm having a, a C-section. So, there's not much drama. And I mean, the ones, the, the birth vlog that I watch, they always have like, you know, contractions, you know, pains, screams. And C-section, guys, you just get your epidural, get your IV and whatever other mess they put. And you just chill there and wait about it to numb out so i'm not sure if i'm gonna do a bath vlog but i'm just gonna take footage in case i want to share but i don't think i'm gonna do that i'm not comfortable with sharing those parts of my life with people but anyway guys i just wanted to say to you guys you guys are the real mvps thank you so much for your support and i really enjoyed sharing this pregnancy journey with you guys i have enjoyed this pregnancy to the fullest because i did it my way i did it how i saw fit and i'm so happy and grateful to each and every friend and family and virtual friends for all the support you guys have been encouraging me and holding my hand um throughout this pregnancy when i get my anxiety i know that you guys come and reassure me and i really really want you guys to know that i appreciate each and every one of you guys and I hope that you do this for other people as well and not just me. I love you so much. God bless.